What's up guys, Justin Greenall here with 65 Drums. Today I'm talking about the Ballistic 3-ply mesh drum head. So here it is right here. I don't know the exact model number of it. I bought it from a seller called UFO Drums on eBay. I've gotten to use it quite a bit for a couple of months and now I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. I've already talked about this mesh drum head a little bit back pretty much near the time when I first bought it in a video called one ply versus two ply versus three ply mesh drum heads. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hadn't fully played it for a long enough time. I wanted to do a review later on. So this is that review. So the reason why I even bought a three ply mesh drum head is because obviously I need to be able to play every kind of mesh drum head there is out there so I can sort of know how the lay of the land is when people ask me what's the best mesh drum head to buy. So I thought going to three ply, checking that out and really, I haven't made a mark on this thing yet. It is really, really held up. Now the interesting thing about this three ply mesh head is that not all of those three layers of mesh are the same layer. You got three plies here. The top and the bottom ply are a really, really thin mesh. So let me see, I'll just throw this one up as an example. It's sort of like a really, really thin, almost like a one ply mesh head like this but the middle layer is a thicker mesh. I don't know, I guess that gives it more of a resilience and also having a different combination of layers also changes the feel a little bit. The best way to describe it is it feels thicker than a two or one ply. I know it's not rocket science to figure that out, but at first I couldn't tell a difference between this drum head and a two ply mesh drum head. It really, it's it's a similar feel, but the longer you play it, the more and more you can tell the difference. And it really does feel like a thicker mesh drum head. So if you're using like a one ply or a two ply mesh drum head on your set right now, and you feel like it's a little flimsy or you want it to just have a thicker feel, then a three ply might be the way to go for you because it does feel thicker. You'll notice it more and more over time. All right, now let's talk about the looks of this now. It's a very, very clean look. Roland has this thing about putting um, their patent numbers on their mesh drum heads. They're very, they're, they're very guarded about anyone stealing their patents. And also they just have their logo. It's just, it gets, it becomes a mess almost. With this, you've got that clean look. No logos, no nothing. For the longest time, I didn't even know what kind of drum head this was because there was no logos on it. I had to go look it up. But yeah, very clean look. There's only one problem. When you tilt it in the light certain ways, you'll notice some very wavy lines going from side to side across the mesh drum head. I don't really like the way that looks, but that's the only mark against it um, looks wise that I can see. Now I've kind of wavered back and forth on whether or not I like this mesh drum head. Not that it's a bad mesh drum head. I can recommend it to anybody. It is a very, very nice, high quality mesh drum head with no logos, it's got a pretty clean look, and it seems to be very, very durable. And it feels thicker than other mesh drum heads, and that's a feel that some drummers are going for. I'm just not the biggest fan of the feel of this mesh drum head. It's fine, um, but I just kind of like the feel of a two-ply mesh drum head just a little bit more. But you know, that's just me. Each drummer is gonna have their own opinion. It's not that I hate the feel of this drum head, it's just that I don't know if it's for me. Um, two other interesting things about this mesh drum head. It is kind of slippery, actually. When you're taking your drumstick and you're hitting it from an angle, and you know, it swipes off just slightly. Also, the next thing is that this is the quietest drum head I have ever used. Maybe a one-ply Remo Silent Stroke is quieter, but this is really, really quiet. One thing you need to realize, though, is that the quietness of any mesh drum head isn't really totally relying on the mesh drum head. Um, how loud it is kind of depends on the shell depth and the shell size. So obviously a drum head on a shell this big will be quieter than like a mesh drum head, even if it's the same mesh drum head on something like this. Just because of how big the shell is, it will be louder. And also, by the way, that's another thing. If you wanna convert your acoustic kick drum shell, it will be louder than just using like the standard um, kick trigger that comes with your electronic drum set. So let me throw up a noise comparison on the screen. I'm gonna compare it against a one ply, a two ply, and then that three ply. So just to show you how loud they are all compared to each other. So there you go, now you know which one is the loudest and which one is the quietest.
I think that middle layer has some sort of dampening effect on the playing surface. It's at a really, really good price, doesn't break the bank at all, way cheaper than a Roland mesh drum head. Roland is like the most expensive mesh drum head manufacturer of all time. Obviously their drums are really highly priced too, so it makes sense, that's their brand that they're going for. But yeah, overall, I really recommend this drum head. It will last you probably a long time. It doesn't have any logos on it. It's like a clean look if that's what you're going for. And supposedly, it will last you a really, really long time. Maybe those three layers help it um, just absorb impact and distribute it more evenly. Great drum head, go check it out. Thank you for watching. I make a new video about electronic drums around twice a week. To keep on top of those videos, be sure to subscribe down below. Also give this video a like if you enjoy this channel because it really does help me out. And I will see you guys next video.